Hello students. Now let us study about citrus canker, which is caused by again a bacteria, Xanthomonas citrus. So let us study about this disease in detail. As you all know, as the name indicates, with respect to this disease, citrus canker. Canker in the sense formation of the dead tissues dead tissues on the surface of the infected part of the plant this particular disease is caused by a pathogen called as xanthomonas citri subspecies citri xanthomonas oxonopodes pathovar citri and also xanthomonas oxonopodes pathovar aranthifolii these are some of the pathogens which causes a disease called as citrus canker this particular disease has been distributed throughout the asia and south america and also some islands in pacific and indian ocean as well as in some part of middle east and in usa especially in florida you can come across this disease this particular disease you can come across in the plants belonging to the family especially rutaceae where most of the citrus fruit forming plants is being placed under this particular family so you can come across this particular disease especially in lemons oranges limes etc let us study about this disease symptom disease cycle and how to control this particular disease in detail so what are the symptoms this particular disease can be found in the aerial part of the plant so this is one of the airborne disease and you can see them in soil also found this particular in old debris if it is being found you can find them in soil also along with the wind it get disseminated or through rain drops or if rain splashes or through equipment the dissemination or transmission can happen you can see the symptoms on the aerial part of the plant the entire part of the plant it can be either a leaf or a stem or a fruit or any part of the plant you can see the formation of such kind of cankers on these uh, tissues so what are these how these symptoms looks this is causes small round blister like formation on the leaves branches stem shoots as well as on the fruits the canker lesions can develop within 7 days 7 days of the infection you can come across this particular formation of the lesions or cankers fruits are susceptible up to 90 days after the petals fall even though the all uh, the petals of the flower has been fallen down you can see the fruits which are susceptible for 90 days the young plants and the seedlings are more susceptible to citrus cankers how you what how actually you can see this particular symptoms they are bright you can you also see in these particular images they are bright the spots or the cankers or bright yellow spots see you can see even on the leaves bright yellow spots on the under side of the leaves see this is a axil a axil surface lower surface of the leaf where you what you can see you can see the bright yellow spots bright yellow spots can be observed on the under side of the leaf which occurs first followed by followed by raised uh, raised rough canker and corky necrosis and the canker may be surrounded by the cankers may be surrounded by water soaked yellow or chlorotic hollows see if you see each cankers brownish raised cankers either on the fruits or on the leaves brownish corky necrotic spots if you see on surrounding this particular uh, cankers you can find the water soaked yellow or chlorotic hollows can be observed these are some of the symptoms on the very prominent symptoms on the uh, aerial part of the plant so now let us study how actually these symptoms looks on each part of the plant 
on the fruits on the fruits crater like lesions cup like lesions crater like lesions which has been formed lesions has been surrounded by oily or watery soaked margin yellow hollow yellow hollows you can find uh, surrounding that particular uh, lesion or on uh, the corky cankers which has been formed which can expand 10 mm this um, uh lesions can expand 10 mm they scatter very severe uh, scattering they can actually uh, he, they can even these cankers can merge each other and form irregular patterns and on the uh, young fruits if it has been infected you can see the ooze so you can see the ooze bacterial ooze of uh, resinous substance may be also observed if there is a severe infection on the stem if you observe the lesions are light to dark brown raised corky they eventually become uh, dry and scabby see you can see this the cankers which are becoming dry and they become scabby they may vary their size from 5 to 10 mm the uh, the appearance of the symptoms on the stem often indicates the infection from if you can see the infection on the stem indicates that the infection has happened from long time so these are some of the symptoms on the fruits or on the stems on the leaves especially you can see these cankers on the in, in which it starts from the uh, the lower surface of the leaf with uh, chlorotic lesions later you can find such kind of necrosis raised brown corky necrosis which is surrounded by yellow hollow can be prominent bright yellow hollows can be seen on the leaves so these are some of the disease symptoms so the disease cycle xanthomonas rhizae sorry xanthomonas citri can spread if the plant has been infected either the stem or the leaf or a foliage or a fruit or a stem or any part of the plant has been infected if this particular bacteria which is found in this particular uh, plant it can infect the healthy one it can infect the healthy plant either through rain either through the rain droplets or uh, through irrigation or through the dew drops the bacteria which has been oozed out from the lesions or the one which are mainly the causes for the infection so here you can see the infected uh, plant if if it is carried through the healthy ones either through usage of equipments or through rain or by through irrigation or through dew drops uh, which is being found in the ooze once the necrosis lesions has happened you know the oozing of this bacteria can happen through this ooze drought bacteria through rain drops or through irrigation or through dew drops it can be carried see you can see for example this is the infected tissue the lesions if it is a, a infected tissue where uh, you can uh, see the cankers this is a cankers which has undergone a process of hypertrophy or hyperplasia that is nothing but the rapid division of the cells which is been uh, which leads to the formation of such kind of tumors or cankers like structures and uh, along with this you can see the chlorotic lesions also and along with this infected tissue you can see the the bacterial ooze this this particular bluish color whatever you can see that is actually the bacterial ooze that is where you can find the xanthomonas variety in that particular ooze due to the dew drops or due to rain this particular ooze is carried out along with the the uh, the water droplet through wind or any uh, through water splash or whatever however it is if it the such kind of uh, droplet containing this particular bacterium once it comes in contact with that of a healthy plant they can enter through wounds or through stomata it enters and it enters into the into the sub stomatal cavity and there they uh, divide uh, 
divide bacteria undergoes a process of binary fission and they grow and finally they leads to the formation of the cankers and the cycle can continue so this is about the disease cycle so then how to control this particular disease the disease can be controlled by eradication of the diseased plant or the diseased tree has to be eradicated it has to be uh, removed uprooted and it has to be burnt into ashes the infected uh, uh, you can also uh, if the infection is not so severe the diseased foliage or branches or the fruit whichever the part has been infected that test can be removed and it can be burnt into ashes spraying of bordex mixture at regular intervals of time use of disease free nursery stock for plantation that is very much important the seedling whichever you have brought from the nursery has to be disease free and streptomycin uh, sulfate uh, and phonomycin also found to be effective and neem ki neem oil or neem cake if it is neem cake it has to be it's a solid it has to be mixed with water and the slurry can be sprayed or uh, neem oil neem oil of around uh, 3% can also give a better results uh, in uh, controlling this xanthomonas uh, citrite so these are some of the uh, methods to control uh, citrus canker and these are some of the references and also the websites go to each of the websites the images which i have used and also some of the websites which are uh, useful for the references so these are the references for this particular uh, topic refer thank you students for your patience to listen this particular topic meet you in my next class thank you once again